Hey, welcome back to YT Finance, and this is the channel where I went to business school so you didn't need to, and today we are talking about the best stocks to buy, as well as the latest stock market news updates that investors need to know about. With that being said, go ahead and annihilate that like button right now, subscribe if you are new, comment down below your thoughts about any or all of these stories, and with that being said, let's get right into it. If you've looked at the market, you would know that stocks have continued their downward ascent, with the Dow notching its third down day in a row. Meanwhile, we see Alta stock from Alta Beauty plummeting by around 15.34% down to $439.98 per share. The reason why their share price is dropping right now is because their CEO revealed that despite a lot of resiliency in their beauty category, their sales have slowed down and investors did not want to see that. Next up, let's talk about the entertainment company known as Disney, and I'm sure you all are quite familiar with this company because they are the house of mouse. Disney owns a load of intellectual property, movies, apparel, and even amusement parks. Recently, this company has defeated activist investors who wanted to place someone specifically on their board of directors. In a perfect scenario, Nelson Peltz, who is a billionaire and the founder of Tryon Fund Management, wanted to steal one of these seats away from another board member. Peltz was even backed by Elon Musk himself, who is the CEO of Tesla and the former chairman of Marvel. Now, on the opposite end, you had the Star Wars creator named George Lucas, as well as J.P. Morgan Chase's CEO voting against Pelts. At the end of the day, it looks like Disney has won because they have retained all of their board members without any new additions. Sadly, this could mean that their overall share price will continue to trade sideways and stabilize instead of surging upwards, which is where Pelts wanted the company to go. You should also be aware that this company's streaming platform named Disney Plus is still not profitable, and it is not expected to become profitable by the end of the year. However, there is one thing to look forward to here. According to reports, the company has released the first look at a live-action version of The Lion King a prequel, so that at least should give investors something to be excited about. Meanwhile, let's talk about Spotify. Spotify is a music streaming app which is trying to reinvent itself all things audio, including podcasts and audiobooks, and their ticker symbol is SPOT, ticker name SPOT. And the reason why Spotify is in the news today is because they are planning to raise their prices to offset their costly push into audiobooks. According to the article, Spotify will begin charging $1 to $2 more over in the United Kingdom, Australia, Pakistan, Sri Lanka, and Ghana this month, and eventually these price hikes will make it over to the United States. Although this may negatively impact consumers and their premium members, overall for the company, from a corporate perspective, this is actually a good move because it will increase their top and bottom lines. So overall, this is a mixed basket in regards to their news updates. But now let's talk about Paramount Global, ticker symbol P-A-R-A, -A, ticker name Para. And Paramount Global is another huge entertainment company, very comparable to Disney, even though Disney is a much larger behemoth than Paramount. The reason why Paramount Global is in the news is because their controlling shareholder named Sherry Redstone has begun to look at unloading her stake in this entertainment giant. Currently, she has reached a tentative agreement to sell her stake to Skydance Media. And this came shortly after Paramount shunned a competing offer from Apollo Global management to which Apollo was willing to buy Paramount with their debt load and all for around $26 billion. Either way, this could act as a positive catalyst for Paramount Global's shares, ticker symbol P-A-R-A, -A, so please keep this company on a watch list. Next up, let's talk about an AI company named Intel, ticker symbol I-N-T-C, because recently, Intel revealed that its semiconductor making unit lost $7 billion last year, and this news did not sit well with shareholders. However, for me, I I might nibble at this company if their share price goes any lower, so again, I think it would be wise to also set this company on a watch list. Next up, we have Amazon in the news, which is a gigantic e-commerce company, and their ticker symbol is AMZN, and Amazon is in the news because they are laying off hundreds of employees from their cloud computing division. Lastly, before we get into the best stocks to buy, let's quickly talk about Microsoft and Quantinum, who said that they have had a major breakthrough in quantum computing. So this is a huge move forward for Microsoft and their MSFT shares. For me personally, I do hold Amazon, Disney, ticker symbol DIS, and Microsoft in my personal portfolio, but always make sure to do your own research before you make any investment decision. Now let's talk about some of the best stocks to buy, starting off with DoorDash, which recently added Lowe's to their app, which is a very interesting move, but I'm completely on board with it. If you didn't know, DoorDash wants to be the everything delivery app, and they've recently signed a deal with Lowe's, which is a home repair retailer. It's great news 
news that DoorDash has officially added Lowe's to their list of retailers on their app. And by partnering with this home improvement chain, they are going to offer deliveries from Lowe's 1.7 thousand stores across the United States. This is going to be a great move in my opinion because DoorDash earns money from various last minute decisions including last minute home repairs. So if you own a house and your sump pump ever stops working, you would need a quick run to Lowe's, but instead you can just DoorDash it. What I really like about DoorDash is that Lowe's is just the most recent addition because they have also partnered with Sephora, Best Buy, Target, Petco, Victoria's Secret, and CVS just to name a few. Meanwhile, their competition, which would be Uber Eats, has already signed deals with Pets Smart, Big Lots, and Office Depot, but in my opinion, DoorDash has the superior deals. The partnerships that DoorDash has signed and created are just better than Uber Eats overall, and that's why I think DoorDash is a fantastic investment right now if you plan to hold this company for the long term. So I'd love to hear your thoughts about this company down below in the comments. Next up, let's talk about Palantir Stock, ticker symbol PLTR, and this company is an amazing artificial intelligence company that I've been reporting on for over three years, so let's talk about it. If you didn't know, Palantir Technologies is a big data data and analytics company, which serves both commercial enterprises as well as government clients. So far, the company's shares have rallied by 35% year-to-date, which outperforms the general stock market benchmark, which would be none other than the S&P 500, which has returned investors only 9% during that same time period. The reason why Palantir is in the news is because they got a price target upgrade from an analyst, to where they increased Palantir's PLTR stock price target up to $22 per share, which is great news. Another reason why this company is in the news is because Peter Thiel, who founded the company, announced a new agreement to collaborate with AI solutions and cloud services provider named Oracle. So this is going to be a huge partnership for both Palantir and Oracle. Palantir is an extremely fundamentally strong business. They virtually have no debt, a very strong balance sheet, improving free cash flows, and they are also profitable. And they are rapidly increasing the amount of profits that they are bringing in quarter over quarter and year over year, which is exactly what investors want to see. Palantir is also riding the enthusiasm surrounding artificial intelligence, to where this article says that AI may also help retail stores anticipate sales trends, manage inventory, and stop theft. On top of that, Palantir is also helping the US government infiltrate and integrate AI into their own solutions, including in battlefield scenarios. Therefore, Palantir's addressable market may seem endless to most, but trust me, they do have a limit to what they can provide to various customers. But overall, Palantir is a market leader in the respected space. We have to remember what the company's CEO said to us last summer, and if you didn't know, their CEO is Alex or Alexander. Carp, and he said this, and I quote, The demand for AIP, which is Palantir's artificial intelligence platform, is unlike anything we have seen in the past 20 years. He goes on to say, We are currently in discussions with more than 300 additional enterprises to deploy AIP within their organizations, all of which are searching for an effective and secure means of adapting the latest, largest language models for use in their internal systems and proprietary data. And for this reason, Walmart Wall Street anticipates that their top and bottom lines will grow and continuously grow from now until 2026 at minimum. And their top of the line is referring to their revenues and their bottom line is referring to their earnings. In regards to their earnings estimates, Palantir analysts believe that this company will bring in around 33 cents for 2024 and 39 cents for 2025 per share, which is great news. On top of that, Palantir's new deal with Oracle should invigorate investors to buy further into this company because Oracle is one of the top 10 largest cloud providers. At the end of the day, if you are a long-term investor, then Palantir could be an amazing stock to buy, even though right now they are trading at a pretty fair value. But I'm going to leave that decision up to you, and I'd love to hear your thoughts about Palantir Technologies down below in the comments. Next up, let's talk about another artificial intelligence company, which I personally hold in my portfolio, and that would be none other than ASML, whose ticker symbol is, you guessed it, ASML. Because some analysts believe that this company will surge up to $1,150 per share. So let's talk about why that may be. ASML's share price has already jumped by 41% over the last year because this company is known for ultraviolet lithography. And ASML is so dominant in this space that they literally own two-thirds of the market. With their market dominance and unmatched technology, this will help ASML's share price move higher and higher. And according to a Wells Fargo analyst, they increased their price target to $1,150 per share, representing at minimum 20% upside over the next 12 months. And that's why I think 
existing investors really need to be paying attention to this company. You should also be aware that a semiconductor giant such as Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing is ASML's largest customer. And by extension, these companies also do business with Apple. So again, these are fantastic companies to hold in your portfolio in my opinion. However, you should be aware of something here. The company does come at a high price tag considering their accounting ratios because this company is trading at 45 times their PE ratio, also known as 45 times their earnings, which is nearly double the valuation of the S&P 500 index. But according to me and the author of this article, the price tag is high, but it's worth it thanks to their market dominance. So I will leave the investment decision up to you whether or not you want to buy or sell this company. I'm just making you aware of them. Next up, let's talk about a dividend company known as AbV, ticker symbol ABBV. Recently, this company posted a large loss. Essentially, they posted their biggest intraday decline in more than five months. So let's talk about what happened. Essentially, this company gave new guidance and investors were not on board with it, causing their share price to plummet downwards. However, in my opinion, buying fundamentally strong companies on weakness is an ideal investment strategy, especially for a dividend stock. AbbVie is a biopharma company which lowered their quarter one adjusted diluted earnings per share guidance back in February. The company lowered their guidance range to $2.26 and $2.30. This would also include a $0.42 cent per share dilutive impact related to its immunogen acquisition and another pending buyout of ticker symbol CERE. From a macro view, these acquisitions and buyouts are going to benefit this company over the long term, but in the meantime, it will negatively impact this company and that's why investors are freaking out, but overall, this is a very fundamentally solid company that I think should be on your watch lists. Next up, let's talk about another fantastic company which I personally hold in my portfolio and that is none other than Meta Platform. So let's talk about Meta. For context, Facebook makes a lot of their money from advertising and according to this article, advertisers and advertisements will be more expensive and advertisers are more willing to buy advertisements on Facebook which will positively impact the top and bottom line of Meta Platforms. So I want investors to be aware of this trend because it's going to positively impact their overall share price. Back in February, Meta posted adjusted fourth quarter earnings per share of $5.33 on revenue of, get a load of this, $40.1 billion. Meanwhile, analysts expected them to only bring in $39 billion and an earnings per share of $4.94. So clearly, they beat on both of those metrics, which is fantastic news for investors. But the news gets even better because the company boosted their stock buybacks to $50 billion and they initiated a quarterly dividend of $0.50 cents per share for the first time. This means that there is essentially no better time to be an investor in this company other than right now. So I would highly recommend you doing more research into this company to determine whether or not it's going to be a good buying opportunity for you personally. But first, let's go over some price targets for this company. A Wed Bush analyst recently said, We are encouraged by impressive results and guidance as the company continues to see healthy engagement trends and improving monetization. He goes on to say, Meta remains our top digital advertising pick and we are raising estimates following results. This is why he reiterated their outperform rating and he increased his price target by $100 up to $520 per share, which is great news. Now, what's interesting here is that he's not alone because a Jeffries analyst also increased their price target from $550 up to $585 per share. So again, I'm not the only one who has identified this trend. Therefore, all three of us have a buy rating on this particular company company, but I'm going to leave the buying decision up to you because after all, it's your portfolio and no one knows it better than you and your risk tolerance. So I would love to hear your thoughts about Meta down below in the comments. Next up, let's talk about Trump Media and Technology Group, ticker symbol DJT, which fell by another 5% just like we have predicted. If you didn't know, Trump Media and Technology Group went public through a SPAC merger through a special purpose acquisition company and their share price has been falling exactly as we predicted. However, recently, Donald Trump has doubled down on his position in this particular company. So he's trying to encourage investors to pour money into this company, even though right now it is a falling knife. He says, first of all, this company is very solid, having over $200 million in cash and zero debt. More importantly, it is the primary way I get the word out, and for better or worse, people want to hear what I have to say. Perhaps, according to the experts, more than anyone else in the world. He goes on to say, Look, using truth, I became the Republican nominee for President of the United States, and in record time, 
He added, when I endorse a politician on truth, they almost always win, and the fun is just getting started. However, since then, the share price has actually fallen by around 21% since Monday. So now let's think to ourselves, why is Trump saying these things? Well, he could be saying this because Truth Social is a competitor to X, formerly known as Twitter, and it's a pretty good platform. Next up, he might be saying it because he just really genuinely likes the company and he needs more money to help this company flourish. Or the final hypothesis is that Trump holds approximately 57.3% stake in this company and he wants TMTG and their share price to go as high as possible before he sells some of his position. The reason why he can't do it now is because he's under a six month lockup period. But after that six months, I do think he will sell some of his shares. But I'm gonna leave this up to you and whether or not you like Trump or hate him, we are here to make money. So do what you think is best here and I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comments down below. Next up, let's talk about eBay, which is an online platform where you can buy and sell things. And recently, their share price jumped by 12%. So let's talk about why that is. Currently, analysts are pretty impressed with this company, considering that they reported their full year financial results for 2023 in late February. And so far, their metrics look very good. The revenue was up around 3% to over $10 billion, and it also earned $2.8 billion in full year net income. This is why a Susquehanna analyst raised their price target for eBay stock by nearly 21%, up to $52 per share over the next 12 months. And they're not alone, because another Argus research analyst also raised their their price target by around 9% up to $58 per share, which represents approximately 13% upside over the next 12 months, considering where they are currently trading right now in their share price. In my personal opinion, I don't think this company is fantastic, but I also don't think that they're terrible. They're clearly somewhere in the middle, and they are trading at a relatively cheap valuation according to their growth metrics. As an example, eBay stock is trading at around nine times their trailing earnings, which is pretty cheap for this company. As long as eBay stock stays cheap, their business remains profitable, they continuously usher out dividends, and they have share buybacks, this company looks pretty good on paper. That's why I think this company is at least worth considering and adding to a watch list. But overall, I would love to hear your thoughts about this company and any of the other stories that we've covered in today's video. Go ahead and annihilate that like button right now, subscribe if you are new, and I'll see you in the next YT video.